Hey guys, D Giggity DFS back with another video. Um, today we're going to be drop, uh, breaking down tonight's NBA slate tiered because I feel like I'm the best. I I'm better at tiered than classic right now. So I want to be able to get my best views out and how I play my game. Um, today we have a six game slate, six games. We got LA and Indiana, Sacramento and Charlotte. The beautiful game of Atlanta and New York, no joke. I have a lot of them in my classic lineups. Uh, Brooklyn and New Orleans, Orlando and Utah, and Phoenix and the Clippers. Should be an interesting game. Real quick, plugs. I get all my projections from Rotowire and DFS Army. Uh, links to them will be in the description below. Uh, DFS Army also has an app. Uh, my links to my socials, my Instagram, and my Twitter are in the description below as well. Go ahead and follow them. They are worth following. And um, just go ahead and do that. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. Yes, by the way, I am on my phone right now. Uh, I did not have time to get to my computer that much to record a video. And I wanted to get one out because this should be an, an interesting slate. Tier 1, we have four players from L.A. Two from the Clippers, two from the Lakers. Uh, LeBron, AD, Kawhi, and George. And just off the bat... Um, the one that I like the most for cash game, there, I have two options, one for cash, one for tournament. If you're going to be running a cash lineup, you cannot go wrong with LeBron James. He's going to be probably your most consistent one. He got a almost triple-double last oh, the past two games and a triple-double against Orlando. He is probably going to be your best option for cash. He's going to have the highest floor. Um, I feel like he's going to, yeah, he's going to be your best option for cash. AD will be all right. He's questionable. He's always questionable with his... Uh, oh, it's ankle this time? Oh, he rolled an ankle. Oh. Okay, normally he's question. Normally he's probable with his shoulder. So, ankle this time, I'm not sure if I want to get to him as much. That might actually prop up James a little bit more if AD is out. Because uh, LeBron normally gets a lot more action when AD is not playing. My number one player for my for my uh, GPP lineups, the tournaments, will be Kawhi Leonard. Oh, hey, I saw won't play in Saturday's game. I got confused for a minute. Yeah, he didn't play in Saturday's game. Um, and do the rest. But I do feel like tonight he's going to be your best option for GPP. He will not be extremely highly owned. The poly the. If I had to make a ownership projection, LeBron's going to have the most, then Kawhi, then George, then AD, or vice versa for the last two. But uh, LeBron James will probably be more than 50% owned in Tier 1. Therefore, the le the with the leverage, you're going to Kawhi Leonard might be a good option for your um, GPP lineups, your tournament lineups. But that's that's and then George is George is George. I don't think he's gonna get more than Kawhi tonight. I feel like it's a better play to go Kawhi over George. But we'll go ahead and jump into tier number two, which I have one player, two players maybe, that I would be interested in. And they're on the top and the bottom. Trey Young against the Knicks. I don't think you can get a much better matchup than that um, for Trey Young this year. He's going to be my most owned tier two player. I don't see anybody else getting to getting that high up. Rudy Gobert will be my next interest, but uh, Trey Young is going to probably get a sixty point game tonight um, in terms of DraftKings points. Uh, Rudy Gobert would be my next interest. Uh, he's been averaging pretty good. He's got and he's going up against Orlando. Vucevic is back now, so uh, might have to be a little bit. Um, Weary of that matchup, but I feel like Rudy Gobert can overpower him. Uh, Mitchell is a decent option as well. I just don't see him getting as much with Conley coming back. Um, but if you if you get to him, that's all right. Brandon Ingram and Sabonis. I have zero interest in Sabonis tonight for Tier 2. If I ran 150 lineups, he'd be in 3 max. Um, I just don't see him getting up there against the Lakers when he's going to be guarded by either AD if he plays or or LeBron. Uh, I just don't, don't like that matchup for him. 
And then um, Brandon Ingram against Brooklyn. I see I, I, this could be a nice matchup for him. He's been averaging pretty well. Uh, but overall, I do think Trey Young is going to be your better option for today. Tier number three, I have I have a couple interest in this. Uh, Devin Booker, as I'm uh, as I'm recording this, he was questionable. He is now doubtful, so he probably will not play. I would have zero interest in him anyway because of the matchup that he's going that he would have gotten. But no Booker tonight. Drew Holiday could be an interesting idea for New Orleans against Brooklyn. Brooklyn's not the best of offensive team or defensive teams. Sorry. Um, I do see him as a viable option for tonight. My favorite pick, though, for Tier 3 is Devontae Graham. I just, I'm just a big fan of him. Um, he do, He has had two bad games, but... I don't feel like he's going to, I feel like he's got a good pace up matchup against the Kings. Um, I do feel like that's a good matchup for him. Ricky Rubio could be another really good option without Booker there. Um, Rubio has been averaging pretty well lately. I do see him being a good option um, against the Clippers. Spencer Dinwiddie. He's good. I like him. He's just going to be very chalky. Oh, that's that's classic. Um, he'll probably be a decent leverage option for tiers. Um, uh, I, I would put him in my. I would put him as fourth behind Graham, Rubio, and Holiday, and then De'Aaron Fox. He's coming back tonight, so I don't expect him to get a crazy run. Um, I just don't like players on their first game back they're not going to be uh because he was just out with uh an ankle injury for a while so um i just don't like uh aaron darren darren fox tonight if he burns me tip my hat whatsoever but um i feel like for tier three graham is my favorite option then rubio then holiday um by the way i'm building a um A GPP lineup right here if anybody is interested. Um, tier number four. I have a couple good options for this one. Um, Vucevic is my number one option for tier four. I just like the matchup. I like Vucevic in general and compared to um, and compared to the rest of the tier, I just don't like as much. Um, the other option I have I'm very, very high on is Julius Randle. He's going to be another one of them chalk plays. Uh, he could have a pretty massive game tonight against Atlanta. I can't believe I'm saying this. I love the Atlanta Hawks and the New York Knicks game tonight. It's probably going to be your best one for um, GPP and Classic. Um, but I do like the pieces of RJ Barrett and Julius Randle. I feel like Randle's going to have a pretty good night tonight. So he would be my number two option there. Buddy Heald, I don't like tonight just because um, with De'Aaron Fox coming back, it's just a huge question mark for him, and I do not feel like I want to take that risk on him. Uh, Michael Brogdon, I don't like that matchup against the Lakers. Lakers are one of the best defensive teams in the league. Um, he's, he could get 30, 40 DK points tonight. I feel like Vush can do better. I feel like Randall could do better. Marcus Harrell is another option as well. Um, I... I'm just a little skeptical running uh, any Clippers with both George and Leonard playing that night. Uh, Lou Williams has still got the Q tag on him. He is actually questionable, so I'm not sure if uh, he's going to be playing tonight. Um, obviously, he's questionable, but I feel like uh, I would stay away from anybody with a Q tag. Uh, and then Jarrett Allen could have a pretty nice game. He has not had a good game in a while. Last time he had a good game was in... Um, was was in Atlanta, and he is now going to go up against New Orleans, which New Orleans is a horrible team. Um, but I feel like in this case, Vucevic or Randall are going to be your top choices for today, for tier four. Jumping into tier number five. Um, this one's a little, I don't, I this one's a little is where it starts getting a little tricky. Uh, Jonathan Isaac. 
I don't see myself getting to him a lot. He did have a big game against New Orleans, against which was against New Orleans. Utah is a lot better of a defensive team. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to get there. Ubre is going up against LA. I'm not sure if I want to get to Ubre as well. Um, Terry, uh, I'm sorry, um, Marcus Morris. <sighs> Last time he had a good game, it was against Golden State, which. Golden State sucks. He is going up against Atlanta, so I could see this as a decent option for today. I'm not sure if I want to get to him, though, because I don't know if I want him to do good. I don't have him in any other lineups. Terry Rozier um, could be another option today. Pace up spot now with um, against uh, Sacramento. He did have a pretty shitty game. 11 DraftKings points in 25 minutes against the Indiana Pacers. Maybe he got a comeback game, buy low, but I'm not sure if I get to him. Evan Fournier um, could be a viable option for tonight. He is going up against Utah, though. It's a little bit better of a defensive matchup. Bogdanovich, Bodon Bogdanovich. Both of them are playing tonight, I believe. Um, he got a good game last time, but it was against, once again, Golden State. Um, going up against Utah today, another pretty good defensive team. Not sure if I want to get to that. I feel like this Orlando game is not a good one in general, but uh, you never know. Uh, Aaron Gordon had a 18 DraftKings performance against New Orleans. Um, again, and then he once again going up against Utah. I'm not sure if I'm not that much of a fan. And then we got Dario Saric, which could be a very, it could be a good option for tonight. He does have, does he have a Q tag next to his? He does not, but he is probable tonight. Um, it really with, with with um Booker out that could be a good spot to try to plug him in, um. But if I had to go with one of these players, oh god, it's an ugly one. I'm thinking I'm going Morris. It's just not a good spot for me. I don't like that that tier in general. And then Tier 6 is a whole shit show. Jabari Parker is probably going to be your best option there. He's going up against New York. Um, he has been, he has a decent floor, which is good for cash games. Uh, Levert's probably still... He will travel, but he probably will not play. Uh, if he did, then Spencer Dinwiddie would go down a lot. You wouldn't want him as much. Prince... Uh, he's a big Q. I don't know if I would actually want to get to Prince today. Uh, Conley's coming back. Probably won't have much run. JJ Redick is out. Miles Bridges could have a decent game, but he has not really performed that well of as of late. Um, Robinson. It's, uh, I think Robinson's going to be Robinson or Jabari Parker is going to be your best option for tier six tonight. Um, just there's a there, it's just not a good spot for tier five and six tonight because it's a six game slate. But um, I hope this does help you guys out. If you want to use this team, go ahead. That's what I'm going to be using. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to like, subscribe if you're new, follow the socials link in the description below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.